but yes, so the individuals stop and stare at you all. You're in this alleyway alone with them. There are three of them. Mm-hmm. Um, one of them seems to be, I will actually describe them if I can find it. Oh, yes. Uh, that is good. Yeah, if I can find it, though. <laughs> um, so one of them is actually you would recognize as a fellow scruttle. Um, Aww. Yes. So there is a uh, gnome individual and a scruttle. Uh, and the <laughs> gnome is a uh, lady with long blonde braided hair and swooshy bangs. And then Swoosh. the scruttle has dark hair and eyes and kind of seems like super nervous and is looking at you guys like, oh gosh. And then there is a Omniander, which is our version, our homebrew version of a uh, Cobalt. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, and so they still small lizard person. Like they are just staring at you. Like they're just like, but kind of like empty. Like, yeah. Uh, and those are the three individuals that are sitting there just like packing up the tools <laughs> in a bag and then just kind of looking at you guys and seem taken aback from this whole big group walking down this random alleyway. You seem really deserted, of, yeah, kind of vibe. There's like a couple of doors. They're actually pretty close to a door that goes into a side building, mm-hmm. but yeah. It's the Star Lord stairs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Exactly. Um, oh, and to our right, you will see it. <laughs> Three people uh, just doing what we do down here. This is all very natural. Uh, that you're, like I said, you're getting the natural, real life experience of a tour. Uh, they start trying to shuffle awkwardly while the gnome is kind of looking at them and then uh, looking at the adventurers. Oh no, did we <laughs> lose? Oh, Kelly. they took out Kelly. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Kelly's down. At least on our end. Um. Oh wait, yeah, all the way. Yeah, she's helping the noble people. Don't worry. Okay, yeah, she's saying really cool things. Um, but yes, uh, the noble woman just kind of uh scoots over towards Mo, who is one of the tallest individuals here, and also probably seems the most like fancy. I don't know. Um, so she's just like she leans in towards Mo and is like, is, is this some riffraff or something? <laughs> riffraff? No. How can, it is just the local culture you can find around here. Oh, oh, the, the local culture is, is individuals who are hiding tools that would normally be used for, for genetics. Oh, shenanigans. No, it's just a game they play. You see, they have tools. We are walking near them, so they are hiding it. It's part of the game. Um, and they kind of, like, look over to Twinkle, just like... Yeah, you never heard of tool hide. It's like yeah. hide and seek, but with, with your tools. Uh, oh, um... <clears throat> classic game down in the caverns. Uh, yes, I... Classic game. I... I have actually heard of it uh, in in a booklet that I've read. I I have experienced many different games. Yes, yeah, so my lady cultures. is quite well um, versed in cultures of other places. Right. Yes, well, it you know it's, they've got like different teams and they're like all hiding each other's tools and it's like a really big competition. You know, uh, people gather around and watch to see who's gonna like hide them the best. She just kind of looks at <laughs> Mo. Um, so, with that, uh, can I have you make, I guess that would, would that be performance or deception straight I up? guess just, I, I feel like it could be either, whichever okay, one you want to do. So, <laughs> Mo, I'm going to have you roll either of those, but I will give you advantage for the fact that Twinkle is most definitely backing you up yep. fully um, on this. Also, Kelly says they can't get back into the VOD. Oh. I don't know if that's like something on your side. Oh, and also while um they're rolling for that, a um a tato with a little bug on their like a bug helmet falls off of something and a little chaos burst happen. Um the magic spreads out and Toby, you suddenly get like a little beard that just grows 
from your fur. I've never had a beard before. <laughs> yay, Kelly's back in here. Oh, okay, yay. I was actually just messaging yeah. you, like... Was it working for me? Oh, oh, oh echo. Wait, hold on, <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna... I got an echo on my... Oh, there we go. I got it? Okay. okay. Um, okay. Okay, we're back. Um, <laughs> Nothing happened. Yeah, uh, Toby got a random beard from Chaos Magic, and uh, Mo, what was your role? Oh. Uh, You're muted. I, it was rolling with advantage, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. So four and a 17, so 17. Oh, that's Ooh. clever. <laughs> that's good. Um, So she obviously trying to just seem like she knows a lot of things mm -hmm. uh, kind of seems hesitant at first because it sounds really weird. But then you can tell that she's kind of just going to go with it and assume that you're not lying to her. Um which is unfortunate for her, but yeah. <laughs> so she just starts agreeing with all of the weird stuff that you guys are making up about this game. Um, and you get it in your mind that there is a chance that she's going to go tell people about this later <laughs> and talk about how she knows this game and that this might be a thing in the future that people spread around as a thing. So that's funny. Love that. You guys are shaping the culture. Yeah. Perceived culture. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, are the, uh, the people hiding the tools still around, or have they, like, scooted off? Um, so, two of them have already gone in. It looks like the Scruttle, uh, kind of grabbed the Omniander and let him in, but the door is still open to the building that they went in. So, you're definitely in kind of, like, a side alley. This isn't a main street door, so there's nothing to say what the door is exactly or what it's going to. Um, but the... Uh, gnome woman is just kind of standing there with the door propped open with uh, her foot and she's just kind of patiently watching and also snickering a little bit at this explanation of this game that definitely exists where everybody hides tools and stuff and is just kind of waiting uh, for you all. Well... Uh, do you guys, uh, I think, I think they might be some famous tool hiders. I, I might want to go get an autograph. Uh, would anyone want to come with me? Sure. I'd like to join. I've always wanted an autograph screwdriver. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I guess. Uh... Uh, I think you guys remember the way back. That's the end of the tour. You can go back now. Oh, the I... The tour's over already? I wouldn't want to go back already. I mean, if I could get an autograph and then I could show it off to Sharon. Oh, Sharon would be so mm. jealous. Oh, all right. Um, she's like, so she's going with you guys. Let us follow you. <laughs> um, Mo is now fully, like... Uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 She's just slowly floating, <laughs> to, like trying to make it really slow Toby, so that they yeah. disappear. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like <laughs> Toby's gonna just really quickly grab Ellie and just like, try to whisper, like, "Is there anywhere that we can we can send them so that they'll be safer?" I'll just I could just show them back to one of the main streets. It's okay. Yeah. We can just... Yeah. Oh. You guys see as this woman is shuffling over to the gnome to go talk with her, and, like, she's pulling <laughs> out, like, this really nice little notebook and a pen <laughs> for, like, a clear trying to be, like, autograph. Uh, if you want to follow me, there's actually another famous, uh, another famous shop that's down this way. Is it more famous than this one? We really need to make sure we get that good autograph for Sharon, you know? Oh, I think, uh, I think Twinkle said she was gonna get you an autograph while I take you to this next place. So we don't miss it before it closes. Oh, oh. yeah, see that she does. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, uh, that's actually perfect. If I have to do less work and other people can do it for me, I love that. So mm. here. Yes. Yeah, thank you. And then my uh, lady always to says. Twinkle, she just like hands her a couple more coins. So you you now have two more <laughs> silver. Uh, and she hands you the booklet. Uh, the autograph book. Yeah. <laughs> and then like pats you on the head. <laughs> Thank you. You're so kind. She really pockets it. <laughs> going to start just doodling in the notebook. Yeah, I, I imagine you do that, and you just like you threw it away. <laughs> I like you drawing it more though. Yeah, it's more funny. Like, cool. I got a new notebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it may, might already have autographs in it. You don't yeah. know. Don't want to ruin that. Oh, it does. If you open it up, there is an autograph. And then um, Rachel and anybody who has ever watched our other campaign, and it's not required for this, just so anybody knows, it's not required. But uh, the autograph that's in there in big letters that takes up an entire page is Gildas. Of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, for context for everybody else who has not seen that, Gildas is an individual who is at the Adventurer's Guild. The best adventurer. Who Gil. is, um, ah. who thinks that he is hot stuff and that he is the best adventurer that ever adventured he's um, a kill stealer and he Everything. yeah he takes <laughs> he takes kills yeah uh from other adventurers like if they're defeating yeah, a mighty yeah. beast or something he will come in at the end and then be like stab i have fought it um yep. and stuff the janitor of the group yes go but he takes all the credit He's like, yeah, they they helped. I He's guess. just the vulture from Brooklyn Nine Nine. If you watch yeah. that show, <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> essentially, <laughs> that's kind of who we based him on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, in really small letters underneath Gildas, Twinkle just writes smells. Oh, yeah, you would know him because <laughs> you, you also are been at the guild. So yeah. Uh, but anyway, so the uh woman seems satisfied with that mm -hmm. and her and the gentleman with her is going to just head with you um well, where, yeah. where are you taking them out of curious no I'm just gonna <laughs> go back to like the main road <laughs> uh like maybe take them back into the like yeah. nice area or like the main road of the exactly. city to the to the nicer area. Yeah, I mean you're from this place, them, like, so you know gone. Yeah, where to go. I'm just gonna find some sort of like t-shirt shop <laughs> um, on our way back. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Okay. Um cheese like, like the cheesy t-shirts that say like yes. will you be mine or like <laughs> Oh that's yes. perfect. Yeah, there's one of oh, those. Yeah, right there down. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have one that says. You can't trip. We'd have one that says, "Well, well, well." What do we have here? Because it's it's called the well. Dang it! You make me write more. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Now available. Uh, just kidding. Um, but what are the rest of you doing while your dear friend Ellie leads this <laughs> uh, poor woman who has been led so astray and now has lost her notebook? Obviously, not to get it back. Um, and I'm sure Twinkle will make sure to get it back. <laughs> As soon as they're like out of the alley, mm -hmm. I think Toby's gonna immediately turn towards the doorway and just make their way in to see if they, to make sure that we don't lose eyesight of the three individuals. Mm. Yeah, Mo's gonna follow. Smart. Yeah. And Twinkle. Same. Um, so as you guys quickly follow into the room, you are immediately faced with what looks kind of just like a, um, like a backstage uh, dressing room. Um, and I giggle at this because it looks like the backstage of, like, a theater dressing room. Uh, and I laugh at this because one of the last things that was said last week was Ellie going, They're just actors! <laughs> to the, uh, to the noble woman. Um, but yes. So, you go back there and, uh, the three of them seem to be shuffling to get a couple of things together and they're like grabbing some things off of the hangers and um, two of them turn to look at you. The Omniander seems like they're getting a little bit too lost in moving things off the shelf and then putting them back on and it seems like they're trying to create some organizing system or something um, but the gnome and the scruttle kind of see you guys just wander in and then turn to you and go up to you to talk um, but 
Yeah, they uh, they go up to you and they kind of just look at you like, uh. Salutations. <laughs> oh, he hello, another another scrattle. Oh, hello. It's very nice to meet you. Yes, yes. I, uh, not I, we don't. I don't see many of our kind down here. No, the, you are the first as well. My name is Toby. What is your name? Oh, um, I'm Clarence. Clarence. And who's your friend, Clarence? Um, I think this is actually like the most I've ever seen you talk, Clarence. Oh, I I think I was just happy to you know see see another Scruttel. <gasps> is... You you don't have any cheese on you, do you? I do actually. I have I have crackers if you want to like share or likes. Oh, and I've also got some amazing fruits and some jams that we could put together. Oh, that'd be lovely. Oh, this is so cute. Oh gosh. <laughs> This is the most lively that I've ever actually seen, Clarence. What about eleven Z's? <laughs> That's all I know. Oh, 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 and I'm sorry. Um, this this is Fell. My my friend here. Hello, Fell. Um, what 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 could we do for you? I mean, I guess you get you and you guys are back. Uh, you're, you're back here. We came to ask you some questions. Oh. Um, what, what kind of questions? Belle, you're, you're good at answering questions. It depends on the question. Yeah. Well, we, we just so happened to notice you were packing away some, you know, chain cutters and some other tools um, that, you know, might be used to, like, you know, cut chains on elevators or something. Um, oh, that's really we're specific. Not using you, know. you, but it was just a very convenient timing, and we just wanted to ask questions, perhaps over snacks and tea. Oh, I didn't want oh. snacks. Well, I mean, we can do that, but we're also kind of in the middle of a show, so uh, we were just taking a hot second out there because uh, Clarence gets nervous. Yeah. Uh, what kind of show? Oh, well. Um, so this show mm -hmm. is to celebrate all of the work that has been done to, you know, get some attention on on some of the things that we would like to change about the city and mm -hmm. the city's relationship to Avarice. Yeah. And, um, you know, I mean, like, it's, it's like some of the things that they call, like, rebel activity and stuff like that. Like, you know, cutting chains on elevators and... Uh, and pranking the guards and stuff like that. But they yeah. always make sure that people don't get hurt, of course, uh, to those during those things. So it's fine. They're nonviolent yeah. rebels is what they say, you mm -hmm. know. Wait, are you saying the show is the, the elevator cutting was part of the show? Is that what I'm understanding? Oh, no, that's just an example of something that yeah. they would do. Um, what What do you mean by, like, the elevator yeah. thing? Oh, well, uh, you know... Did you get a look at our our play script? Because that, that was supposed to... That was supposed to be a secret. I even... I hid it. I put it under all my snacks. Clarence, you know everybody goes through your snacks. You're like it, the snack guy. I put it at the bottom of the snacks. Um, but yeah, because that, that was supposed to be... That was supposed to be a secret. I, anyway, the show is going to be happening soon. But it, it's a show about all of the stuff that they've been doing to mm -hmm. bring attention to uh, the changes that people in the city want to see mm -hmm. in relation to Avarice. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Can I do an insight check on them? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> to see if they're... No, you cannot! <laughs> they are genuine! <laughs> yes, roll Believe insight. <laughs> Alright, um, great. And make sure to add a, a, a plus three to yours, Rachel. Great. What do you say, Mo? Um, uh, Mo is just going to um, do a tinkering with, like, uh, like to an, um, a magical tinkering with an item to, Ooh. um, what is it, uh, create some light and kind of put it where like Elias is supposed to come back <laughs> and just like little <laughs> I love that like mm. like a little spot like a bat signal I love <laughs> like, it. I feel 
I feel like I could kind of make my way just because I know where you, I yeah. left you guys, but you know. It's probably good just in case other shiny lights didn't distract you on your way back. Just in probably. case. Yeah. <laughs> right. What I know, it is your light. Does it have a certain hue or color? Um, I, I think I might have used it before, maybe, uh, but it's like, um, I guess, like, uh, similar to my pink purple. So okay. I like. The Ellie signal. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I could totally see it being something that's been done before, like, uh, at some point, and so it's like, ah, oh, follow the light, <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, what oh. was your roll? Yes, the roll. I got a 27. Oh my god. You can see into their soul. You know everything they've ever done. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know they lied last week about who ate what snacks, yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, okay, so, holy cow. Uh, is that plus with the Bardic Inspiration? Yeah, yeah. I have a plus six to Insight, and then also plus three, and I rolled an 18. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's why it was so high. I was like, holy cow. Okay, so you, uh, you, you were, like, staring at them, and you were good at figuring like hyper analyzing. Out, and you were <laughs> analyzing their ever, every move. Uh, and it seems like everything that they're saying is genuine, that they are not lying at all. They don't have any mm -hmm. noticeable signs of lying or, or saying anything not true. Um, and it doesn't seem like they're even hiding anything in particular. Yeah, except like snacks, they're, maybe. They're being, except snacks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so from what you can tell, it definitely seems like they're just being direct with you. Hmm. That's very interesting because, uh, yeah, the like an actual elevator's chains were cut. Uh, I wonder if somebody in the show might have gotten a hold of that script and maybe is using that to, you know, commit actual. I don't know if crimes is the right word, but. Do you uh, think pieces. that somebody might have used my writing? They were inspired. They, they loved it. <gasps> they were inspired by it, That's I guess. That's awesome. I mean, I... Uh, it's so great. It's not like we almost died or anything. Oh, oh wait. You you were in the elevator? That's how they knew about it, I guess. Oh, oh, but you don't have to worry. Everything that they've ever done always has like a backup plan mm -hmm. to make sure that nobody actually gets hurt. So, so if it's written like my script, spoilers, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, if it's written like my script, then it would have had some kind of feather fall thing installed in the elevator so that if it caught enough going down, it would have just started just doo -doo 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 all the way down. That's how it's written. Don't tell anyone. Is the big reveal. Could we just take a little peek into what other things you've written? That would be kind of that'd be kind of spoilery, though. Mm. Oh, but there's no one that I want to tell. Just just want to see if something else is. But then the magic could be ruined for you, too. You could stay for the show. Uh, Clarence is actually about to go on. He oh, is yeah. one of Everything. the strong, powerful leaders of the rebel force. Oh. As you can tell. And then he puts on like a little uh, cardboard helmet type thing that looks like a clear prop. <laughs> you look very dashing. <laughs> oh, thank you. When I'm trying to think of, like, bravery for my script, I think, what would the Blanket Brigade do? Um, so, Fel, just kind of, like, after after Clarence says that, looks at Toby, looks at the very obvious cozy blanket, looks back at Clarence, looks at the blanket again, and then is like... Oh, he's got a blanket. <laughs> I do have a blanket. Are you one of the, uh, are you, uh, are you one of the esteemed members of the, the Blanket Brigade? I, I am. I am a member of the Blanket Brigade. This is my brigade issued blanket. <laughs> That's amazing. Can I touch it? Oh, of course, of course. Oh, it's so soft, but so righteous. Okay. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Okay, Clarence, Clarence, we, you you got to start getting set up. I have so many questions. Yeah, we don't have time for that. Oh, okay, okay. 
Okay, okay I feel like... I, I take the blanket off, and I put it on Clarence. He immediately is like, oh! Oh, yeah, the weight? <laughs> You're all like, up a little bit. Oh. Ah. I'm so happy. So the righteousness of a rebel leader flows through you now. Yes. Okay, I can do this. And then he starts like you have going to off. Roll for his strength. Oh I no! Yes. Okay. Let me he see. does not have high strength. Very heavy. He has a very heavy blanket. Oh, what did uh, you get? He got a twelve. Oh, so but that, his. Oh, okay. I feel like he's he can do it, but it looks really it's, difficult it's for definitely it. Yeah, not like, natural looking. He doesn't fall. The DC, the DC is ten according to the the net uh, thing. So oh, he should be okay. Yeah, so he's fine. Yeah. He, he's not like it doesn't seem it's like it's weight, weightless as yeah, but. <laughs> Okay, yeah, he goes off. Okay, perfect. Um, so then the, uh, so Fel is- Oh, a mage hand helps with the blanket to lift oh, it up some. Sorry, so it like little, billows. A little tato <laughs> is just going behind yeah. Clarence and being like, woo, with the blanket. <laughs> yes, sorry, you go on. I saw that little and I was like- I had... It's like invisible wires that like come up from the ceiling. To yeah, the that's what I was thinking. Instead, it's a mage hand, yeah. I love it. Oh, Pat, that's cute. Yeah, thank you, Pat. Um, okay, so then uh, they're going in, and Fellow's like, um, "You can, you can have free seats to the show if you would like to see any of the other things that I have written." Yes, one, two, and he just looks around. He's like, "Do you all want tickets? Like, three tickets? Four? Four, four seats? Four tickets? Four? Great. Um, has Ellie come back yet?" I, I will say right now that, um, just to make it easier, because splitting the party is always rough soup. Uh, so for you, Ellie, while you were interacting yes. with the woman, she's still like, ooh, ah, to everything, but also seems like she doesn't want to touch a whole lot of stuff. Like she's a little bit of a germ freak. Um, but she's still like, oh, oh, how quaint. <laughs> uh, and is looking at a lot of stuff. Um, but then eventually as you're getting nearby, you see the most uh, generic looking gift shop that has like, like get your well replica. Well, well, well shirt. Oh yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, there's some really, really good stuff yeah. like that. And uh, the woman is like, oh, I love it. And then she starts like running around and looking at that and like putting the shirt it, on. It's probably one that you um, were familiar with from your time living in the city. You're like, oh, God, yeah, it's that tourist spot. Like... <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. So then, by now, you would have seen the lights. And because I like the idea of you guys have existed as a party together yep. uh, already, that you're probably like, ah, this is the way back. Um, yes. You are able to head back. Yeah, so it's probably when you guys were figuring out the tickets that Ellie like, came back in, like, like seeing the light oh. that Mo has been doing. They're, they're safe. They're safe. Oh, that's good. The show's yeah. about to start. Show? Good, we got you a ticket. Yes. Ticket? Yes. The uh, snacks? Oh, are you, are you snackish? Do I mean, if we're watching a show. <laughs> um, Fell, like, quickly heads off, like, okay, I, you guys can have this, and these are really sought-after tickets, so, you know, you're welcome. Um, put, yeah, put in a good word with anybody... You know that you know. Just tell people, okay. And then like heads off. Um, but yeah. So are you guys like collecting snacks and getting prepped. And <laughs> you get shown like where to go. Um, when you go into the theater, by the way, it's a very small theater with a very small uh, stage. However, you can tell that all the props on the stage are like hand done. There's like a lot of hand painted, kind of cardboard looking. Uh, props and stuff, but it looks like a lot of care has been put into it. Um, and there unfortunately is not a lot of people that are actually sitting in the audience. Um, it seems like there's maybe like six other people who are watching it. Um, and they're like weirdly spaced out, uh, as you all shuffle in there to watch this play. <laughs> oh, I think my nephew works here or used to. <laughs> I think it's, yeah. Oh, we have. Yeah, there's always lots of, you know, big families. 
You never told us you had uh, siblings. I mean, they're not really related by blood. It's just... Um, yeah. Oh, I understand having other siblings. Yeah. Multiple. Are you, like, adopted or something? I mean, I... I think so. <laughs> that, I think I'm the only moth in the group, so yeah. Yeah, mm. I think I'm adopted. That's interesting. Yeah, I guess I've not seen any moths around here in a while, yeah. Yeah, but, you know. There's, there's a, like, a roly-poly bug. He, he was, like, my nephew. I took oh. care of him. Yeah. What is his name? Uh, Roy. <laughs> yeah. Can't oh. Write this down, Roy, the <laughs> nephew. Of the... I like. Guys, yeah. I like when you have drop. to come up with a uh, name immediately, and it's like Roy, Roy the Roly Poly. I like him. <laughs> it's, it's good. Cute. It's cute. There, let, let's roll to see if you guys uh, last ended on good terms. Oh God. I hope so. <laughs> uh, I won't tell you what it was. <laughs> yeah. He wanted to leave and do something more with his life. He wanted to go, like, topside, but... Oh. Yeah. Is that not something that... I mean, he's a roly-poly. It's not something that we do, or they do. It kind of hurts their eyes, but he wanted to branch out. Oh, oh no. I love this <laughs> Yeah. For Roy. <laughs> Sorry, I really want to meet Roy. <laughs> What was Roy's uh, job at theater? Was he an actor? I feel like he would be the tech guy. Oh, or okay. Like, oh. like one of those like people in the black suits that go around, mm. you know? Well, roll, uh, Ellie, roll perception to see if you can see oh. anyone who looks like Roy in here anywhere. Oh boy, what is my? Yeah, pill bugs too. Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> Hi, demon. <laughs> oh yeah, Roly Polies are pill bugs, guys. Sorry, that's just what I called them growing up. Yeah, just oh a my god, it's a dirty twenty. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so uh, the play seems like it's getting ready to yep. start, and as it's beginning to start, you see uh, you see a classic rolling individual up on the like the kind rafter, of like, yeah, stuff the rafter above the stage, um, and they're rolling across, and then working with them lower, kind of off stage, is the omniander, and they're like pulling like the a curtains rope open and stuff like that, and moving yeah. things around, and then the. Uh, Roly poly, yep. Roy. Yeah. Uh, I love that. <laughs> Favorite character now. Um, is rolling and like getting all the lights set up. Mm -hmm. So then they're like putting the stage lights and stuff. Um, but as to not go through an entire play. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> the summary of what you see. <laughs> the summary of I... the play. Oh, wait. Do we have music for this? Uh, yes. Should I roll for the play's There's performance? A movie montage. Sure. It's like like <laughs> us like eating snacks uh, with our like glass. I think this is the one I found. Okay, that. Oh, so what kind of snacks oh. does Toby have for a movie? Yeah. Um, there are these little like seed and granola things that have been like uh, held together with honey, um, mm. which are very nice and healthy, and you get your, all your omega threes with it. It goes nice with tea. Um, Toby, do you have any, like, coffee grounds or, um, you know, like, compost or something? Or, like, eggshells? Do you have any, like, crushed up eggshells? Um... What's your favorite? Mo's gonna look at the ground to see if anybody has dropped anything. <laughs> <laughs> there's definitely some, like, trash on the ground, at least. Yeah, you... <laughs> just gonna grab some. There's a, there's a banana peel on the ground. There. Oh, Ooh, oh. perfect right there just add it like a like a fancy little like selection and give it to twink great she snacks on it i love that you were a composter <laughs> that's how well the show does yep like what would a plant person eat yeah i mean that's in sunlight I yeah i love it um okay so you guys watch the show and going through really quickly yes. the uh play is a representation of the city's rebels that they have been called uh the ooh coal hearts um so 
it's kind of just talking about how they disapprove of the system that's currently working where avarice kind of uses the city below as just a workforce mm -hmm. um and that <clears throat> many of the people in the city below want to just be a unified city with avarice so that it's all connected and then also put infra infrastructure in place and um there are various things that the rebels do, including what would be familiar, <laughs> which is cutting the elevator. And um, specifically, you guys would be familiar with the scenario is they cut the elevator chains in the play and then they sealed it again but with something very breakable and from a hidden spot they threw a dagger and it snapped that breakable uh chain so they had marked it as breakable and that's what broke through so it was pre-cut um and ready to be broken as more individuals came down in the play but in the play the individuals panicked and did nothing and stood there in the elevator screaming and right as the elevator was was getting close to smashing in the ground it began to feather fall and the people landed safely though terrified um and then that was when the in the play the rebels revealed themselves and they were like see that we have spared you and it's uh clarence up there and he has his blanket and he's like because we care and his blanket is billowing uh, and there are Tato's that are, like, doing that. Do not uh, forget when we saved you. <laughs> and the um, flame goes. <laughs> and uh, there are a couple of other various things that they do. There is a scene where they are going and they're having, like, a... Um, what is that called? A protest mm. against the school that actually is found on the ceiling of the city. It's coming down in a stalactite. Yeah tight yeah mm -hmm. stalactite um and how that city should actually belong to the capital caverns since it takes place in there but then the people above have the rights to it mm -hmm. and it doesn't make sense and so it should just all be one and then the play ends on a happy note where all of the people come together and you see clarence holding hands uh with fell that was dressed up really fancy and you could tell is supposed to be one of the people from avarice um and you see a very big uh, handcrafted collage of what the city could look like. And instead of there being these tiny little elevators that go down into the capital caverns, it's a unified city with large openings and towering spires that actually go straight out of the caverns and through up, lifting into the skies above in Avarice, connecting the two cities in a large uh, unified way um, that is really pretty. And they like painted it all and it's cute um but yeah the play is energetic and inspiring uh mm -hmm. but yes and then they all seem to be really excited and the whole time you're seeing roy the uh roly-poly <laughs> individual going back and forth doing all of the effects all the spotlights are also these big mushrooms that when you touch them they glow and do a spotlight <laughs> And he's like holding them. That. Yeah. I'm gonna like just tap everyone because I got my forearm. So I'm just gonna be like, ah, guys, that's him. <laughs> that's Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> I love it. Oh, um, the play also. Ooh, Roy! Really? As the play is coming to a close, too, you also see there's some Tatoes on the rafters near the tech people, and some of them start doing like shooting down what looks like um rays of uh, colorful lights and different like they're doing like strobe lights around and stuff and then another one just do like explodes in the background so it looks like that cool action hero like explosion where toby with his um or not toby clarence with toby's blanket and like billows dramatically while they're not looking at the explosion behind them it's very majestic yes. thank you tatoes for yes. making that <laughs> even more majestic um i love it yep uh but yes so the tatoes are also on cue in this very inspiring thing um and there's like a casual clap from the other people uh that are there but there are not many yep. many people who stuck around to watch the whole play but you guys have successfully enjoyed a random play while you were headed on a quest <laughs> yeah <laughs> such interesting scenes oh 
Oh, was that Rai I saw? <laughs> oh, uh... It was too focused on the, uh, the play, so I couldn't see... Sorry, Lucy, but... That's okay. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Yeah, that was Roy. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen him in forever. Did anyone notice that the rebels marked where they were going to break the chains? Only to appear later with their own little propaganda. Yeah, that's yeah. Really interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think that's what happened to us? Maybe. Sure seems to be some sort of deeper message in the play. Mm -hmm. This is some great writing. A lot of hidden messages. Was it Clarence who wrote it? I can't remember. It was... Uh... It said Fell. It was mm -hmm. who wrote it. Fell. Mm -hmm. Clarence is the one who potentially got it leaked, apparently. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> he like... just left it under a pile of snow. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think... I think somebody must have caught wind of the elevator scene and decided that was a good idea, and we just so happened to be the lucky ones on the elevator. Is this their first time with this showing? Uh, I would say just looking around, you can see it says that this is their like, like grand first, opening? like debut. The, yeah, the debut of this play. So oh. it's the matinee. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With six people plus a uh, random four that snuck in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Free tickets. So Why I'm not? sleeping in the back. Um, Moe's just going to like look over uh, to Ellie and Twinkle. Do you think... To no. Do you think maybe someone else who works with them? It's Roy. <laughs> I mean, you don't know. <laughs> it could be Roy. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, like is there someone else on staff? Like, were there how many other actors were there on the stage? Uh, there was. It was mostly just um, Clarence and Fell, yep. and then there was one changing other outfits. person, <laughs> but they were just changing outfits most of the time and playing all of the characters. Except Clarence never took off the blank. <laughs> Has Every Clarence, character like, that Clarence was had the blanket. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it was a scarf, though. Or something like that. Oh, gosh. Like, the weight? Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> dedicated to the craft and the blanket. Um, um, but yeah. Do we, we want to talk to them? Well, maybe or we should talk to Roy. Well, don't we have to go get the trapped miners? Oh yeah, that's why he came down here. Yeah, <laughs> um, you know. But this is just too good. I mean, we can say hi, I guess. Let's, you know, it's only friendly. Yeah. Well, and, you know, even we can like gather some information while we're here, put it in the back of our minds, and then come back to it when we're done. Minds. Yeah, back of our the minds. minds. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We all were. we're all dorky. That was so bad. <laughs> we're all like nice. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so you guys head down uh, to chat, and it seems like uh, Fell is trying to usher people uh, to her. Anyway, she's like, "Feel free to ask any questions, you know, or or get any autographs, Auto autographs, autographs." As you guys come up. Oh, you could actually get the autograph. Yeah, you could. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah. <laughs> but will you, is the question. I mean, it's not like you're giving it back. <laughs> get that book really quickly. Oh, yeah. Just promise to give it back. It's very special to me. Is <laughs> <laughs> it? I just, I don't know. She gave it to me, and I just feel like I bonded with it right away. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. okay. Um, and a lot she of the pages already have, like, so many doodles in them. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she's just, like, I, and Mo's just going past all the doodles until she finds, like, an empty space, and she's like, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> and just, like, hands it to them. Um, Belle is really excited and takes it and does, like, a very swooshy, elaborate thing and then draws, like, a little star on top and signs it and is like, my very 
not first <laughs> autograph. <laughs> Thank you so. Oh, oh, you too. You too. You gotta get it. And Clarence was like it to messing with the capes. Clarence, <laughs> and it's like, oh. come on. Oh, 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 thank you. Let, let me help you with that, and I'll take the cape off. Oh, yes, on. yes. Thank, thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, to my hero. Oh wait, no, I'm the hero. Um, <laughs> thank oh. you. Oh wait, Clarence, you can't. My name. You can't just like sketch stuff out. That looks messy. You have to have a proper signature. Clarence, <laughs> with a heart. Oh, with the heart. And gives it back. I love it. I'm uh, <laughs> going crazy. <laughs> oh, um, also when, um, while this is happening, a, a, the the same Tato has the bug helmet on, uh, comes over to Ellie and actually speaks to you in Samoran somehow. He's like the, the pheromones and stuff, which you don't know how, but says, um, maybe you should check the script to see if the scenes to also talk about the miners at all. Oh, uh, when our tatoes are, are given some clues and stuff. Yep, feel free. Anybody that's like thinking thoughts and stuff like that, feel free to get involved. Get that How soup. You, how did you do that? Okay. Um, secret language, but okay. Uh, uh, boy, is Roy here? Can I? Oh, uh, yeah. You know Roy? Yeah, we go way back. Yeah, um, let me grab our amazing two stage hands. Uh, mm -hmm. We have Sim and Roy, and they are both fantastic. Sim is a little... He's just... They're just... They're, they're, they're a they're unique Sim. kind of individual. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, they might not do an autograph or anything, but yeah, I'll go get the crew. And then Phil, like, runs off really excited uh, and then leaves Clarence just standing there with you guys as Phil is, like, going in the back. Um, uh, And then he, the Clarence still looking at Toby. Do you want to... Can we can we share the snacks now? I'm, I am a little bit hungry after after my performance oh, 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 of course of course and now that we've seen the show we could take a look at that script oh that's what i was asking oh, oh yeah for too um yeah. I, I don't know i think fell might wait no i had i have a copy too somewhere and he has a lot of layers on and stuff of his outfit and he's like hmm. looking through it while he's doing it there's like other assorted things falling out and like crackers and just all sorts of things like that and he's like some crumpled up like so uh it looks like a script, and he's like, "Oh, yeah, uh, he. I don't. Which one of you wanted to wanted, wanted to see it? Oh, what we I think one just... of oh. you guys oh. should. Yeah. Yeah. I not me. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, Mo can like hold one end and have the other for Toby, and just like start flipping through the pages and start scanning. Um, uh. For miners, yep. People who work in the mines. <laughs> I know. I already <laughs> choke on my wall. <laughs> I saw in chat I had said sim, and then, and then somebody simp? was like simp, yep. and I was like, oh gosh, we have to be careful with the wording. Yeah. <laughs> um. No, <laughs> I can't. We're looking for the people in the mines. Gotcha. Yeah. Yes. Anything to do with the rebels and the people in uh, the mines. So in this copy, you actually see uh, the section that has um, the talk about the elevator and stuff is highlighted. And then underneath it, where there's like a grand gesture that is done by the uh, the rebel leader, Clarence. Um, yes. Uh, that part is actually crossed off. And then there is like a side note that says, not yet next to it in very fancy handwriting that does not match Clarence's signature whatsoever. And Clarence is just making now um, a little like sandwich with his crackers and the cheese from like Toby and stuff while you guys are looking at it. It's like... <laughs> Clarence, dear, this huh? incredible script here. So oh, yeah. Beautiful. Who wrote this? Who, uh, who, oh, who wrote the, uh, the one we just did? Oh, this right here where it says, not yet. It's such beautiful ink. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not in my handwriting. 
Um, I don't, I don't know who's that one. I think that I, that must have been maybe Fell put that on as like a side note or something to probably keep like writing for. Oh, oh maybe it's a sequel. Can, she, can Mo take out the autograph that Fell just did? <laughs> <laughs> Handwriting analysis. <laughs> um, this thing. <laughs> Would that be so? Uh, Fells is very fancy, um, but then there's not a skill check for can you analyze handwriting? <laughs> you just Would investigate. That just be yeah, just investigate. Yeah. yeah. That's a plus four. Ooh, does any Tato want to give any juicy uh, bonuses? Uh, let me I have see. a fifteen plus four, which is a nineteen. Oh, Ooh, it sounds like you that's don't. That's good. Uh, you don't <laughs> yeah. need it, I guess. Um, okay, uh, so potatoes. Thank you. you are looking at it and you're kind of like, hmm, and comparing and you can tell they are both very fancy and very swooshy. Uh, however, looking at the two, it looks like the uh, letters are not exactly the same, like they're written a little bit different, but it's also hard to tell because unlike Clarence who wrote a lot nervously and then crossed something mm -hmm. out and then just signed his name. Um, Fell just very fancily uh, wrote their name. So then uh, she's just like fancy Fell with like a star. So you only have pretty much just the E to go off of because mm -hmm. not yet. And then the E is the only part of that. Um, but it doesn't quite look the same. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, and while you're looking at it, there's a, a Tato on the floor that just goes like... <gasps> And then a burst of fog just appears around them. And since they're tiny, there's just like a little layer of fog around y'all's feet or like kind of Tato height where the Tato just disappeared. I love that. It's so random. Yeah, it's there's also like a Tato that's just watching you guys. It was. Now you can't see it. Stare. <laughs> if it was on the floor. Um, What was this character's name again? Clarence. Yeah, Clarence and Fell is who you've been talking to. Clarence. Is it possible that somebody else has had the script? Have you given this to anyone else? Uh, well, I was put. I remember, I hid it with my snacks. Right. So everyone. Right. It was the snacks. How many <laughs> people have the script? Oh well, just any of the actors, really. Uh, well, actually, no. Some of the um, our our, our tech um. Our tech friends probably do too, because you know they need to know about like the lighting cues and and stuff like that. So I, I imagine like Roy probably, you know, you're, you're the one that you said that you knew. Yeah, true, true, true. You don't have any other. Have you done other shows here? Oh, other ones at, at here. Uh, yeah, we've done a couple of other shows. This was our first one. Um, like this was our first premiere of doing the show at this theater, though. You know. Oh, what other shows have you done? Oh, um, it is kind of uh, it, it varies more. It goes on the um, you know, with the times and what the interest is. A lot of um, a lot of classics. Uh, you know, most of them by um, uh, Pear. You know, the the famous playwright. Yeah. Last name so Shake. None about none about the mine and ores. Oh, uh, oh, well, we did do I think uh, one, uh, a one a mine one a mine centered one a few months ago. Ah. Do you have what? a copy of that script? Oh, of the mine. Uh, I would have to go see. I don't know if I mean I could go check my snacks. That's just where he keeps all his uh, yeah. scripts. Well, no, you see, he keeps a snack on his, like, uh, dressing room desk, but it's all snacks. I relate to co Covering it. So, like, it's, it's in... I was Same. imagining more like a file cabinet. Oh, actually, I do like that better now. Are yeah, like snacks like, filed in? Yes, I do. Yeah, like, yeah, like there's there's folders, but then it's like you just pull out a slice of cheese <laughs> from one of the. It needs to be alphabetical. Yes. Parents is yeah, by the the yeah, the yeah. Actually, it's that. <laughs> it's that instead. <laughs> yeah, I could go. I could go check my files and my snacks and stuff to see if um I have that one in there. Yes, yeah. please do. That would be wonderful. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, hold on. Let me just finish off my little sandwich here. Mm -hmm. And then. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> doing that <laughs> and then he goes off <laughs> toby you don't eat like that yes toby <laughs> 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 
All this time, Toby has eaten alone, and now you know. No. <laughs> never known. Comes <laughs> out. Oh my goodness. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, so right after that happens, um, even like during, there's like crumbs going everywhere, and uh, Fell walks up, and like some of the crumbs get, get on shot, her shoulder, like. and she's like, uh, "So any, so anyway, um." <clears throat> Yeah, so so this is Sim. Looks at chat. Sim. Um, S I M. Uh, this is Sim. And also, uh, this is Roy. Uh, and gestures to uh, the roly poly individual. Uh, Roy, Roy does look like roly poly type humanoid, so they're definitely smaller and stuff, more curled up. They have their. Um, antenna that are kind of down a little bit almost like if your hair was in your face oh. and you're like Roy and then and then he's like oh. <laughs> Roy so I'm gonna high five him with my little arm mm. oh come on mm. it's Roy. good to see you <laughs> oh god Question is, did we roll low? Yeah, did we roll low or is this the character that David is going with? Who knows? Uh, it's so good to see you, buddy. You do great. I'm so glad to see that you're accomplishing your dreams. My my dreams were to go up top. Yeah. But you know, someone didn't support me on those. <laughs> but this is good for now. I'm, I'm here now. Mm, yes, that is good. Not see? by coincidence, by any means. Mm. Did you come here to see me in my performance? Uh, yes. Mm. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I decided this character the second you called him Roy. <laughs> it was called Roy. <laughs> you knew. In yeah. Your I heart. Talks about you. Ellie talks about you all the time. Oh, thanks, oh, yeah, She yes. uh, she's just so proud of all of your accomplishments and misses you every day. Yeah. Um, what is she, what does she say? <laughs> I love uh, how you are subverting the culture to go above and beyond. You know, um, going topside. And going, going making a difference. Everything. Yeah. Yes. And how kind and thoughtful you are as an individual. Thanks, Always God. remembering Ellie's birthday. <laughs> um. So, uh, what have you rolled? Deception. I think it should you be get twinkle. A, you get advantage. You get advantage though. Twinkle whoever does it. Started cause... the like talks about you. Oh so yeah. It will be twinkle. Yeah. I guess. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And if anyone wants to give any help. <laughs> Honestly, Kate, I, I for real. Yeah, yeah. Kate, it's yes. so real. This is my <laughs> serious I'm not one. Kidding. I got two nat twenty. Whoa! What? Whoa! That's amazing. Okay, that's. I love that. That's what that's used for. That that is great. Oh, okay. I love it. Yes. Also, Heck yes. That's something super special. The next person who does a roll gets advantage. Yeah. In celebration of that. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah okay so uh you with that great like you you guys like the sincerity with the you know all the stuff that you're saying Roy's like really okay um well that's good to hear I mean, yes but he's like looking at you more like not looking away as a uh, angsty <laughs> as much anyway okay it's good to sweep away the emo banks <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, it's I mean, it, it's good to see you too. Yeah. How is everyone? Oh, um, they're good. You know, they're they're good. I mean, people. We were, you know, they were a little worried when when you left. Well, you know, like like you, we gotta find our own adventures, right? Mm -hmm, that's true. Well, I mean, I'm sure they'll be happy to know you're back. And that's that's what matters. Yeah. Oh, dang. 
There was mm. even a plus seven to oh. the double net. Okay, it was a twenty-seven then. <laughs> that's what it was. He's so, so convinced. Plus and plus, plus three, so that's a thirty. Oh my, yeah, no, they, they believe so much that you were doing that. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's, it's good that you're back. Um, yeah. Okay, well, did did you need anything from me, or did you just want to continue the, you know? I, I wanted to, to catch up, but um, we're also here on business. We're trying to save the miners. Oh. Have, have you heard anything about them? Wh wh which, which miners? Well, the ones that recently got trapped. Yeah, no, I mean like which ones from which of, which of the companies? Oh god, which company? Um, so you were, uh, like, the, the scroll and stuff said it was, like, the official, um, I believe the Avarice Mining and Co. The yeah. Avarice, okay. So, yeah. Uh, the, well, is there more than one that's been trapped? Um, I, I, but oh. regardless... We've been having, there, there have been disappearances through most of the miner, uh, the mining companies now for, uh, several months. I guess oh. you, you didn't know, is that, so, is that the ones that you're here for? And so, it's been a, been a little while. Oh, what were the? You said it was Avernus. It was like the Avernus uh, Mining Co. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we only heard about the Avernus Mining Company one. I, I, I didn't know everyone was oh. missing. Oh, of course. Mm, that one was just a few days ago that I um, heard they went missing. Oh. Guys, did you hear? They went. There's multiple. I hear. Yeah. Uh, Fell chimes in. I can't even say this with a straight face, David. I hate you. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Um, Fell chimes in. And <laughs> I was just thinking about this before I could say it. Okay, serious face. And is like, uh, yeah, I heard that, um, Big Pants Ben. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. Uh, and Bucket and Co. Yeah, his company, Bucket and Co. <laughs> Uh, also lost some people a couple months back. That character was named by David. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> and he's like, they wear big pants. <laughs> but to be honest, I also made it worse. Because I was like, what if they don't just wear big pants? What if they're normal size pants and they're just small? Yeah, see, you and they're, they're just wearing um, like this average is, human size pants. This is definitely a name that uh, Ella, you would have heard from being here. Like you from would have living recognized in, Big Pants Ben. Yeah, um, as a, um, they are a um, prolific uh, business owner here. Uh, but I guess it sounds like they opened a mining company as well, which you weren't Roy, oh, you weren't aware of. You? <gasps> Wait, is that Roy? <laughs> Roy! Roy! <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if he looks angsty enough. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Great job, Red Cap. Thank you. Um. Oh wow! I guess this is bigger than. I originally yes. thought he's drawing that hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Even what have you done? <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> um, has have your plays? There was one about the mine. Has have has it been about people disappearing? Oh, uh, uh, the that that is the one that we made uh, shortly after the first uh, disappearance that happened. It, it was uh, it was starting to get a lot of um, a lot of outrage and stuff here. We had this some Clarence of the, who walked back. Some of with the file biggest um, show, yeah, that we've had before because a lot of people turned out for that one. I think we had like ten guests. Yeah, that was wait. Well, we had ten guests this time. Oh, <gasps> we did. Yeah, we're making it big. We all. Clarence has the uh, the file, by the way, that um just uh, like a big M on it for probably like mining script. <laughs> <laughs> or or mozzarella. Like, or cheese. <laughs> or something. <laughs> no. Or munchies. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> think of other snacks. M script. Oh. Yeah, so if you uh if you guys want to look at it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Can we? Oh. Yeah, hands it over. Um there is definitely cheese in there too. <laughs> like like slices. You? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's way more angsty. Yeah. Oh, these are uh, bookmarks. I see. Okay. 
What did oh they say goodness. about um, Big Pants Ben? What, why did they mention this guy? Uh, so, <laughs> so why wouldn't you mention this guy? <laughs> seriously, uh, Big Pants Ben has lost some of his individuals who work for him yep. as well. Um, however, that was not uh, seen as important until it was the main company of Avaris, uh, their main uh, company yep. mine had lost some people. So there were people that were lost uh, a month mm -hmm. or so ago. So. Yep, and the um, the play um, that uh, Mo is reading, it pretty much does describe um, there just been a, like a lot of disappearances of people going down into the, uh, the well and they just kept not turning up from different companies. And then the whole point of the play is they think it's some big like conspiracy or um, there's something like going on. Like it seems like there could definitely be speculation going on where it's like they're just like, oh, Good plays. I, yeah, yeah. I love seeing Big Pants Ben has a partner called Tight Trousers Tim. <laughs> I love that one. Wait, who said that? It was Drone. That, I love it. Drone, Tim. Drone, please, please put yes. that in the Discord so I don't forget it. Yes. <laughs> Sleazy <laughs> Steve. Yes. <laughs> yes, Vinny. Steve's the accountant. For sure. <laughs> oh, gosh. A little Tato bug is sitting on Clarence's yep. head. Mm hmm. Longer time. <laughs> uh, oh god what else can we ask them um in in the Trouser. play where they're like was there anything to like um what is it the play's about they went down to mines they they're dealing with what was it again there uh, all these issues are coming up with it uh, yeah, where people so just kept play disappearing. That, yeah, the play that you just saw is the one with all the rebel activity that had nothing to do with the mines. And then the the script that you just got that was not from this one, because you have both now. Yeah. Um, that one is about all of the people who disappeared and the lack of interest of avarice in mm -hmm. the people that were gone. And then it's like a story about their uh, adventure. So they like created a story mm -hmm. of where the people went and how they found like a portal into another realm and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So it's like creating a story yeah. around the, uh, the individual. The hardcore detective who has to go down there to try to find the mining people because avarice players. because avarice won't let them. Yeah, but the the character's name was uh, Dig Thompson. I had to get one more in there. I mean, <laughs> yes, <laughs> longer John. <laughs> oh, this is good. Um, did Dig did Dig wait? Is his name Dig Johnson? Was it Dig Thompson? Thompson Thompson. Dig Thompson. Uh, was yeah. Um, what did what was like what did he find was there any kind of truth to, like did he find oh, like, an actual well, person or is uh that... his was that it was um the yeah uh so that that was the twist of the ending that it was the um a conspiracy from the uh capital is what that they like wrote it in as yeah yep uh, but during all of the chit chat, uh, back and forth about everything, you guys learn a bit about the different plays and how Fell is usually the one that writes them. You also learn that the tools that you guys saw them with before, um, they actually found them outside in the alleyway and they just decided to use them as props because yep. it worked out perfectly for their play. Um, so then they just took them in. And so you guys caught them in the middle of taking items. And the reason why they looked at you so weird because they were like, oh crap, are these theirs? And we were like <laughs> stealing from them. But then you guys didn't respond in a like, hey, that's our stuff kind of way. So that's why they awkwardly were like, okay guess we're going in <laughs> and they just like left yep um but yeah so during all the chatting about stuff you guys learn that mm -hmm. and then uh learn more about the plays and all these fantastic characters big pants ben yeah. don't forget big dig thompson yeah and dig thompson with a g yes um mo's gonna turn to um uh, uh, the group and just big. So I think there is something here. Some people are using this as inspiration, um, which is good to note for the 
rebels if we seek to um I can't. Are you reading? Don't read the chat right now. There's too many funny things <laughs> happening. <laughs> I, you guys are awesome. <laughs> I adore you so much. It's so funny. Oh, I want to meet everyone. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> okay. Shiny Sean. I didn't see that one. I got my life. Rachel, that was great. <laughs> that was so good. Um, yeah, just uh, Mo's just trying to say, like, this is clearly attached to the rebels and might not be what we need to find the miners um, but this we need to like uh, keep track of this because um, whatever next play like is coming up maybe it'll be used as inspiration so let's get like a list and then head out to the miners um was there anyone in the crowd that was here last week um they they think about it and uh bell is kind of like uh, well i mean we have so many people who come it out it can be hard to, to these, keep track you know, of on yeah. regular uh but um no not that i can place uh, i don't know i mean we had that one famous person <gasps> oh, oh yeah again yeah they were great mhm mm but no other than them the the famous person um yeah it's, it's uh and then looks at like roy and then looks at uh clarence and is like um cloy fellow man <laughs> the the famous the famous person cloy fellow man mm-hmm is this yeah. that we know? Oh! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh! Yeah. To play along. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. He came here. Yeah, we're a pretty big deal. Yeah. You know? You're, you're lucky, you know, we had some, uh, some spare um... tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Tickets. Time. For you. Wow, you got Roy, look at you. You guys are making it for huh. sure. Yeah. Roy's like, yeah, it's, it's cool. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the 27 but he's still like <laughs> yeah <laughs> the bangs <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah also a, a bell just kind of like rings from the rafters above and there's a tato just like <gasps> using mage hand <laughs> oh that's the lunch bell oh, well we should probably get going um where do we know we know where the general location was where these miners got trapped right yeah it's you in your would, like yeah scroll. you would know that you have to go through that main area uh that you were going to and then head down to like the the biggest um mining building that mm -hmm. is down here okay oh uh before we we head out was um did the other miners get lost in this or get taken i guess around the same area is it all in the same mine mm, i think it was well it's all you know in, in the well at least uh i don't remember if it was all in the same because the different like mining companies and stuff i believe they have different like jurisdictions that they have yeah. down there yeah, to typically. mine yeah 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 okay so it's everywhere got it yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of hard to say. I think it was kind of in the general area-ish, uh, but also it's harder to keep track of what they're all doing because the Avarice Company is really secretive about where they're they're going and what they're doing and stuff. But then, you know, Big Pants Ben... <laughs> Big Pants Ben is... Uh, uh, is more straightforward and open about where he travels and stuff, so it's kind of hard to say. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's also very busy, too. So I know it can be hard to, to get in contact to ask him stuff like that. Yeah. Well, good luck with everything, guys. Oh, <gasps> it's that big pants <laughs> Ben Tato! Oh my yeah, god! Wait, where? DM Red Cap, it's get it trunks, Tato. Oh, wait. oh, wait, get it closer. I can't read it. Tight, tight trunks, Tato. That's... <laughs> It's so good. It. Holy moly. <laughs> Tato oh. Trunks, yes. I love him. I love him. 
I love him so much, his legs are so long! <laughs> I feel like that should... That. that should be a stream avatar. <laughs> yeah! <gasps> it should! Oh, man. Is that the next clothing item that yes, you're gonna make? Or just big too. pants? <laughs> oh, that is precious. And you doubted big pants, Bim. I did. <laughs> I... But then I encouraged it by making jokes with That's you. true. <laughs> um, so, uh, is there anything else that you guys wanted to say or do with them, or should we, like, montage you towards your destination? Roy, if you want to ever go up above, you can come find me. Oh, you'll, you'll take the... Yeah, whatever. Um... He blushes a little. Yeah, uh... Yeah, yeah I'll, 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 I'll talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, whatever. Hang out at the adventure still. You'll find it. It's it's easy to find. Oh, Just fuck. be careful going topside. Don't get burned. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll wear. Uh, yeah, I, I I have the shades and stuff. And okay. I, okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. It's good to see you. <laughs> I'm just gonna go because he doesn't seem like he wants a hug or anything. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> you were so cute. <laughs> um, Roy doesn't care about these things. <laughs> no, I, but secretly he does. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He appreciates it. Um. Okay. So, uh, is that an arcane reference? That they call it topside. I guess probably. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe. I don't know. I think they do. Yeah. Yeah, topside in the Undercity. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. We did not steal this from Arcade. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> they stole it from us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So, uh, what are we them now? Like fell and stuff like that. Like totally making oh, things. Yeah. Um. Anywho, so montaging very quickly for traveling sake you all uh make your way back you pass by the uh gift shop and the woman is still in there and she seems to be just grabbing all of the things um but she doesn't see you all if you want to go by if you want to but probably not give her back the notebook <laughs> you could, yeah okay you got hey so. you got some like um valuable autographs Right mostly now. Clarence. Yeah, mostly Clarence. And hey, and Fell. She's decided that she's going to start collecting names. What do you mean? Like I... is that like threatening? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um well... Mo just wanted just uh handwriting samples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see the difference like in you y'all's yeah. um perspective on things. Yeah. Um <laughs> Look at that uh, look at that so Tato down there. Letters afterwards, right? <laughs> Yes, yeah, that's absolutely what it's for. Well, thoughtful. Of while y'all are uh, traveling, discussing the autographs, uh, Ellie, that uh, same bug Tato talks to you and say more in again to let you know that um, they're going to get some buggy friends to help investigate around up here uh, while y'all are, um, you, know, you know, going off on your other adventure. Does it have little booty cheeks? It does. Little booty cheeks. <laughs> booty cheeks. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and another Tato... Um, uh, Twinkle makes it look like the book that's in your hand is just vanished. Oh! But you still feel it. You're holding it, but it just looks like it's gone. Um, to my little Tato friend, be like, report back what you find. <laughs> <laughs> it like um, tips its like bug hat <laughs> at you, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, oh, no. and then like <laughs> another bug scurries up and it hops on its back and like rides away. <laughs> I imagine some of the bugs down here are probably the same size as the Tato. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah for sure. I mean, Tato's aren't huge. That, like, this is even bigger than a normal Tato. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they just get cuter with their different outfits. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This one was crocheted by uh, Amrinsen in, in our community's wife. Yep. It's, it's a hand crocheted thing. Sent Isn't to us all the way from England. So it's his Viking Tato. Represent. Yep. <laughs> We love it. I love that. Um, if anybody else would like to crochet a Tato for us, we will adore it and keep it up by us as well. We have a P.O. box in Discord Send us trying stuff. to bribe you into it because it's so crochet, cute. But I'll try my best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would still like, I would really still put it up looking. there. <laughs> yeah, you just get like a ball like a ball of tangled yarn in the middle. And we're like, this we is a Tato. Yeah, I would still put it up somewhere. <laughs> tato. I love it. 
Um, oh, yeah, okay, back to the... So, quick montage. Yes. You guys are going past the gift thing. You decide not to give the woman okay. back her notebook, which is hilarious. Twinkle needs those names. Um, yeah, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> yeah, it sounded very it's sketchy. It's fine. I want to collect names. <laughs> um, so, you guys make your way down. You pass more plants and things and, like, nice artwork. And everything's all clean in this area and, like, crisp. Yep. Um, and then you finally make your way into the office of the mining company and as you arrive you see two halfling individuals that seem to be shuffling through a lot of paper really quickly um and they are trying to find certain things and they're signing papers and like sorting everything um and it is in this really overly sized room where it's like weird there's a lot of empty space and then there's just like a desk at the far end um and there's nobody else in there as you all arrive yep. except for the two individuals individuals that are at this small desk on the very far opposite side so it's one of those where like if you start making your way it's like a really awkward long way to be like hey yep and uh twinkle has handed a mushroom by a tato oh Ooh. but it's made it's made of stone though so it's like a stone mushroom sculpture oh that's fun <laughs> that's so cute yep she treasures like it. that. Good. You can add to your inventory if you want to. That's up to you. Perfect. I will. <laughs> How big of a stone mushroom are we talking? Oh about? well, it was a tato, so it's probably like like, oh, like that big. Oh. Like what we got like, at the Ren Fair? Yeah. Yes. Like that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Cute. Um, she's gonna like uh, wrap it into like a little necklace. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Now I have to add that to the character. <laughs> no, that's why she did it. <laughs> Just, I... Oh goodness! To make Ashley's life harder. <laughs> that's my job. Oh, I'm not used to that name. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> oh, so wait, what were you we doing? Yeah, you guys are in yes. in here with the you're in the mining company. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Is there a bell that we can just ding? Oh, yes. But it's on their desk. Yeah, in front of the halflings that are like... So you have to go all the way across to the desk yeah. to ring the bell. So it's me and Ellie who are like nine feet tall. But yeah, huge. Like, and then essentially, yeah. That was eight feet last week. No, it's seven. It's it's seven. I think it's seven and six, six. So it's like close. It's... <laughs> I thought it was yeah. nine and eight. Uh, thank you. Oh, no. Uh, you typically <laughs> can float all the way up to nine feet. Yeah, but your normal so, height yeah, seven. Yeah. Can she float <laughs> <I'm kidding>. <laughs> over <laughs> and just be like, ding? Yes. <laughs> so the halflings that were over there, like, uh, yes. They straighten up. Um, what, what is it? I expect that. Do you have an appointment? Yeah, do you got an appointment? That's the other one. Hello, hello, and she just starts like a hand, a handing on her like tentacles to like to shake everybody's hand one by one. Just, well, oh, there you go. Oh, hello, hello. What is the commotion in here? Uh, we just have a lot of paperwork that we're trying to get through. Yeah. Do you have an appointment? No appointment. We're we're walk-ins. Do we need an appointment? Do you need an appointment? Of course you need an appointment. This is Avarice Mining Code. Do you see how busy we are here? You guys are alone in this <laughs> place. <laughs> in this large, like, open room. Like, with just a desk in here. So Most quiet, just waiting open. for the tumbleweed to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a tato rolls by like a tumbleweed in the back. <laughs> ah, like doing cartwheels. <laughs> yeah. Just like, yep. Oh, yes, busy. <laughs> We are. Uh, who has the scroll? Was that Twinkle? Oh, I think that's up to whoever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, should should we show it? Uh oh oh yes. Um, and she rolls out the scroll. She's like, does does this count as an appointment? Um, the one with the uh, higher pitch voice takes it and is uh just like, and trying to like move it away from the other one as they're like, like trying to take it. Oh, yeah, I'm from the Adventurers Guild. Hmm, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, um, we can probably, uh, you know, uh, Dumas, we can probably, uh, you know, pencil them in. 
And oh, hmm. right in that moment that uh, the, they're saying that, a uh, very tall, um, petite tabaxi walks in and they look like uh, those really like tan and then they have like the black face uh, cats. I forgot what they're called. I'm like drawing a blank. I think they're like the Himalayan cats, but they're really cute. They have like the color of a Siamese, but they're floofy. Um, so they're like floofy Siamese. Um, and she walks in and she has like little glasses at the end of her snoot. Uh, and she walks in very like prim and proper and is like, <clears throat> and then peeks over the one individual who is like trying to block the other guy from seeing the papers and is being like, yeah, I think I can let you guys in. And she's like, oh, I see. Hello and welcome to the mining company. It's lovely to have you. I assume that all of you are the Adventurers Guild individuals that we hired? Yeah, we were just about to let them in. What was that? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, no, I think so. I don't think there's anyone else, yeah. Oh, well, um, okay, so then that's perfect. Uh, let's see. Um, Dune, you're doing a great job. Thank you for handling that paperwork. Uh, thank you. I, di I didn't trust Dumas with it. You know how he is. Oh, now be nice to your fellow employees. Okay, mm, uh, so up. we are short on time. You are, in fact, a little bit late, but that's okay. We we know that things happen, and there's been quite a lot of um, incidences around here. So with that, we will go, and I'm sure everything will be fine, though, and you will do your job successfully. So... Uh, shall we? And she starts gesturing to a door that is where she came out of, out of the uh, room, out of the very large, unnecessary room. <laughs> oh, we shall. Yeah. Okay. Not like we almost died on our way down here, you know. <laughs> sorry we're a little late. Oh, uh, yeah. well, I'm sorry about that, you know, hazards of yeah. the job, I suppose, since you yeah. are adventurous, but, uh, yep. oh, um, anywho, okay, let's go. And then she, uh, turns and her tail is, like, extra floofy. So, uh, she's standing pretty close. And, Twinkle, can I have you make a deck save? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. What is my deck? You said a deck save? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... That's a 15. Uh, so as as she turns, her tail is like whew, really fast and it's a huge fluffy tail and you're kind of on the right height. Uh, so the tail, you're just like, Ugh, as you dodge, it's like her tail just swoops by your face. Um, I love Moss. Um, I love how you do that. No, no. Yes, nobody think that, that she's frozen. It's fine. It's all good. Oh, and um, the, uh, the halflings that were arguing sort of like, you know, trying to rush behind you guys too to keep track, still having all the papers with them. They, um, one of them, again, they start kind of doing tug of war with almost for a second, but then a Tato lands in the middle of it and just explodes. And so both of them just go like, ah! I get like blown back. Like, and they're just all like, like uh in there uh so anyway uh don't know what that was about uh we do actually have quite a few tatoes that work here surprisingly you may think that wow tatoes they're chaotic little creatures aren't they and then as she says that she kind of like pushes one that's like tumbling around on the ground a little bit with her foot and she's like <clears throat> Anywho, uh, they are quite, you know, chaotic, but uh, they also really like to have fun little tasks. And we've luckily found a lot of Tatoes that enjoy working with the people that go down into the well. However, unfortunately, they aren't able to teleport back and forth with individuals. That would be convenient and save us quite a bit of money. But alas, it seems like they can only teleport one or two things of their own, and that's it. 
Nobody can go with them. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a problem with losing people, which is why you're here. Uh, so can I get your names, by the way? Uh, Moira, yeah, the uh, Trident. I'm Ellie. I'm Twinkle. Toby Barkintail. Oh, well, it is lovely to meet all of you. Um, so I am here to help you, and my name is Vezana. Um, it, you can also just call me Vez, because I know a lot of people have a hard time with my name, so you can just call me Vez. Oh, uh, could you, um, I'm, uh, learning how to read. Could you write your name down in this book for me? <laughs> um, <Aww>. oh! <laughs> Oh, well, that's lovely. I, I, you know, I am a huge fan of self-development, so sure thing. And then she so much. writes her name down, and you notice is her name is, uh, her handwriting is quite fancy. Um, very spooshy. Ooh. Uh, but yes, she writes her spooshy. name. But yes, uh, she's, she just goes with it. This is going to be a thing from now on, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, as you guys are walking, you guys start walking down a hallway and she begins showing you a tour and then she suddenly stops and she's like, oh goodness, hold on one moment. And you guys are left for a moment in the hallway, which has little windows and you can kind of peer down and see as there's like a lot of work going on below. And, uh, as you guys peer down and see the work going on as she shuffles back into that large room that you all came from, seemingly having forgotten something, um, as you guys are peering down, you see a bunch of people doing like classic uh, things that you would expect from mine work. They're grabbing a bunch of ore and they're putting it onto carts and things and they're loading things up. Uh, and there's a bunch of different devices and such, but you actually see off in the corner, it's kind of one of those things that stands out back behind a little bit, uh, one of the large, I would say they're kind of like pill shaped, uh, elevator systems, from what you can tell. There seems to be a uh, individual that is messing with the top part of the elevator and seems to be trying their best to not be seen by anybody else on the floor. It's kind of one of those very obviously like they're tucking themselves away, but because you guys are above everything looking down uh, through a window, you get a glimpse of them. Uh, shuffling with something on this elevator. And that... Does it look like they're sabotaging? Oh, come on! ...will be where we end. Uh, oh, 